there's something very, very impressive about a man who can cook, which is why I'm not very impressive. <laughs> I can make a baller grilled cheese, though. Wow. Can you boil eggs, too, and then boil spaghetti? Wow. I can boil uh, spaghetti. Spaghetti, I can, but not eggs. Can't what do you mean do you can't make eggs? I can't boil them. I can scramble them. I can't. Same, what same, you, same. Stop. I can't boil them either. I can scramble them, and I can do the spaghetti. Both of you. Sorry. <laughs> The sides of noodles no. do get burned, though. Both of you quiet. Bricky first. What do you mean you don't know how to boil an egg? I don't know how hot the water needs to be to be boiled. Oh my god, right? Every time! <laughs> Every time! <laughs> okay, okay. First of all, you can wait for the water to have bubbles in it. And then you put it in, yeah. okay? And then yeah. from there, no, but not, you also no, wait, leave wait, wait, the water no. cold. Mat take Matara, longer. I'm not gonna put carbonated water just for the bubbles to try to boil my eggs. Okay, this is a bit. I hate you. I believed you. <laughs> I believed you, Mel. Yeah. What's your excuse? I'm stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Mel, Mel, you. We both know you're smart. We both know you're smarter than you look. So, um. Mel, <laughs> do you? What, what do you eat? For breakfast, Mel. I don't like breakfast. Blech. Okay, what do you eat for lunch? Oatmeal. What do you eat for lunch? Um. When you say oatmeal, is it just like cereal with milk? No, like like oats, okay. oats with oat milk and walnut and almonds and honey. Okay. Are they raw? The oats? Do you not cook the oats? I microwave them. Okay, for how long? Right before it explodes, and sometimes it explodes, so I keep towels nearby. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I would <laughs> hold on. Mel, Mel, is this, is this a bit? No. I don't think it's a bit. I don't think it's a bit. Can, okay. Can you? Okay. Can you repeat to me the process <laughs> the that process. you the process that you do to have breakfast? Mm -hmm. to just just repeat to me that I, I will I will not judge you during the explanation of your process. Uh, I got a bowl and I got oats. And then I uh -huh. put the milk in the bowl. And then I put it in the microwave and I open it every 15 seconds. And I'm like, it's not doing anything. It's not doing anything. And then I do it for another 15 <laughs> seconds. And I'm like, oh, why did I put my, I can't put my spoon into the microwave to try and spin it. Because what if it explodes and I die? And then I put it back in and I do it more. And I'm like, okay, it's just about right. 15 more seconds. And the oatmeal is perfect. And it was 20 seconds. And I noticed, oh, shit, half of it exploded. So I had to wipe it all up. And then I have half of the oatmeal. So I I do it again and then I have two of a third of oatmeal which is way too much and then and maybe I'll make eggs and I open them and put How do you make the eggs? Them. Yeah, yeah. So they got to be a little wet. Um but yeah, you, you take They always got to be a little They got to be a little wet. Shush, Matara. Shush. You got to you finish her thing. <laughs> As a woman, she has no what? idea what that's like. What? Being being a little wet. Finishing. Please, Mel, continue. How do you make your eggs? Okay, I make the stove be on to be hot, um, yeah. and then I get... How do you know that the, sto that the stove is hot? Well, it on? well, it sounds hot. And then I'm, I'll take some water, and I go, a top it, and it goes, water? I'm like, oh, I, I just want to see if it sizzles. And then I put a little tab of butter on it or two, and then it's like, yeah. And then it turns brown, and I'm like, oh, I did it too hot. Pour it out. Do it again, but a little lesser, and then it's like the right heat. And then I take eggs and I crack them and I throw it in. Bing, bang, boom. I got a little spatula and I push it around in a circle. So I push them around in a circle over and over until they're really scrambly and, and kind of wet. And you might put cheese on top, but I don't always. And then I take it off and then I put it on bread. And then I put a lot of ketchup and, and I eat it. And then maybe I'll take pickles out of the fridge and just eat them out of the jar oh, a lot. Yes, that's my girl. Mmm. We uh, gotta do pickleback um, shots. Uh, Mel, I promised I would not judge you during your explanation. Your explanation is now over. Um, uh, firstly, what the f What? Part three on this one. Mm, mm, mm. Consider using the tea kettle to just uh, pour the boiling water directly into your oatmeal and then it becomes oatmeal. I don't think she has, Richard. <gasps> I don't think she has. I don't think she has. Um... Wait, Mel, you can't have gluten? That's a new thing. Then why is she eating oatmeal? I don't know, because she just discovered she's gluten-free. <laughs> are you are you positive 
it's gluten because because I know a lot of people who who believe that they have a gluten intolerance of some sort, but in reality, it's either just like you're not getting the proper nutrients out of other particular things, or there's some kind of like other like wheat like sensitivity or something like that. A few weeks ago on stream, I ate half of an egg roll and then threw up for an hour. It was hilarious. I still think it you're maybe not cooking this. your oatmeal all the way through. Yeah, I, I got a little bit of that. I think I think you might be having like this like half raw oatmeal to BH. Oh, cause cause it was brought up a few weeks ago, like three. Uh, for like the past five months before that, every time I ate food, I had horrible, crippling, terrible pain, and so I'd just been taking Tylenol with all of my meals. And oh, like, wait, where? Oh, yeah. hold on, Mel. Yeah. I'm so sorry. Where is the pain? Uh, it was it was like. My insides. Mel, I'm not kidding. Please go to a doctor. When I come visit you, chat. can we go to the doctor together? I'll come with you. I'll hold your hand. Ch chat was dogging on me, being like, Bricky, don't be like, you don't know gluten intolerance or not. Like, Mel knows. But, like, in my back of my mind, I was like, I think there could be a different reason. Perhaps a doctor should be seen. M Mel, please, when I come visit, can we, can we please, like, I would love to go see the inside I of have, a doctor's office. I have, I have a doctor I in a few really days. I have the appointment in a few days. Mel, get the leeches. All right. <laughs> All right. Get the leeches. Get rid of the bad blood. My humors are fine. Thank you very much. I have a doctor in a few days. I even did the medical telemedical on my phone before making the physical doctor oh. and i'm like here's all my shit. i'm like taking tylenol with every meal Mel, and ho like, i have a horrible hmm? i'm not just saying this because like stuff like this if it's genuinely something serious the earlier they catch it, the more like your chance of surviving, your chance of getting over it, like no matter what it is, like most things like that, like if it hurts for more than a day anywhere, go. I, I, I have the I, appointment. I also would argue that having uh, Tylenol with every meal is not a statement that should be said just so laissez-faire. Uh-huh. Yeah, but, but, okay, one, I have the f appointment. Two, right, okay. I had a secondary appointment that was on the phone and I was describing it and they said, do you have it with every meal? They're like, what are all the meals you've had for the past week and a half? I'm like, here you go. And they said, so this is only occurring when you have bread. And I'm like, I don't know, maybe. And and so now we're going on two and a half weeks now where I've cut out wheat in all way, shape or form except for twice. And I have had zero issues any way, shape or form. Zero issues.